That should be more than a thousand dollars. There we go. I that have, was. I have been just stewing really? since I saw Tom Cruise do that to you. Just. Tommy, can you hear me? <laughs> I know that you've worked with my Tommy, haven't you? Yeah, the, the first movie uh, I, I did was The Outsiders, mm -hmm. and uh, Tom and I played best friends in that. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to work with. He's, he's, he's a great, great guy. He is, uh, you know, he almost broke my nose. Excuse me? It's, it's a little known fact, uh, but we, uh, you know, we were like 18 years old, a bunch of guys letting off, you know, steam, and we used to box in the hallway of this hotel. We'd uh, wear, wear headgear, full mouthpieces, like Take, during your downtime on yeah, the movie? Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Yeah, and the director didn't know because, you know, if something happened to our nose, you know, we'd, we'd be, you know, off the movie. So we tried to keep it under wraps. But one day, Tom and I were boxing, and I, w I was the only one stupid enough to box him because he's such a competitive athlete. He's a, guy, he's a competitive guy like that. He's, you know, he's the race car driver. He's the, you know. Yeah, he wins a lot, too, I hear. He's good at things. I don't want to talk about the results of the fight. Oh, did he hurt you, Rob? Well, I got a good, a good jab off, and the next thing I know, it was like smelling salts for under you? my nose. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to tell me that you hurt my Tommy, which would not have been good for the rest of the interview. I know. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be kicked off the show. No. But no. he's a good guy, Absolutely, isn't he? Absolutely, yeah. And he was a good sport. I'm a little obsessed I know. him. I, I got that impression about you. A little bit. Just, just a tad? A little bit. Do you talk to, like, a therapist about this? Mm-hmm. And the, uh... <laughs> the bad thing was that he was such a great sport when he came and like it because usually I had never met him. Right. I just always loved him. And Emilio, who's my friend, is friends with him. Right. And so he introduced me once and my palms were all sweaty and I was like, I have to call my sister and I ran away. <laughs> and then uh, so I never knew if he would think it was funny or if he would think I was literally insane. So the fact that he was such a good sport only made me love him more. Tell me, can you hear me? There you go. Did you see Jerry Maguire by any chance while we're on the subject? I loved it. I, in fact, I, I was so impressed with it that I, I wrote him a letter just saying how proud I was of him. And, and did you really? Yeah, I did. Well, that's sweet yeah, of you. I, it's great when you get letters from, from people in, in the industry, your peers and things. And, and it's not done enough, really, no, I it don't isn't. think. You when you, it's true. When you really enjoy somebody else's performance, that's a great thing to do. It's, you know, I've gotten a few of them, and it always means so, so much to me. And you think, oh, I'm not going to write them. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, you'll feel dumb. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. But, but I did, because I just, I just loved that movie so much, and he was so great in it. So, um, so I did. It was fun. People still come up to you and say, I loved you in. <laughs> St. Elmo's Fire. Good movie. Thank you. You know, the thing about that song is, is that more people have been married and buried to that song. Really? That's a funeral song? You're a baseball fan, right? Yeah. Bill Veck, the longtime owner of the Chicago White Sox, buried to St. Elmo's Fire. No kidding. <laughs> what was he thinking? When, whenever I hear that song, I, I think of you on the roof and Mayor Winningham trying to get you to come down. <laughs> I don't think of people dying. No, Mary, Mary, and Mary, too. I've had more people come up to me and say, you know, we played that at our wedding, and we've been married now five, six years. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. You're, now, you're married. You have two kids. Yeah. Adorable kids. Little Matthew and John Owen. Where, where's my kid? Uh, hi, Matthew. Hey, John Owen. How old are they? Uh, three and a half, my oldest, and a year and a half is John Owen, my, my little. You call them John Owen is two yeah. names, but you call it one, like Mary Beth? You know what? It's, it's, it's a subject that's open to debate, because my wife's like, you know, when he gets to school, they're just going to shorten it to John. I'm like, no, they won't. It'll be John Owen, if that's what, what his name is. So. Right. Right now, it's John Owen, and we'll see how long it lasts. My brother, Eddie, his name was Eddie John. And did they call him Eddie John? No, we called him Eddie Spaghetti with the meatball eyes, put him in the oven. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> we did, and he's in therapy now, but he's a nice guy, Rob, and that's what's important. Luckily, John Owen doesn't rhyme with anything, or we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> now, uh, your son, big movie fan? My son, Matthew, is a huge Star Wars fan. Just insane for, really? for Star Wars. And my wife is a makeup artist, and she got the opportunity to work on uh, Brad Pitt on The Devil's Own with, with Harrison Ford. Which I love that movie. It's a great movie. It's a great. And so I thought, this would be great. I can take Matthew to meet Han Solo. Sure. So we live about two hours outside of LA. So I get Matthew, and I really explain to him, OK, we're going to meet Han Solo, but he's not going to look like Han Solo. He's going to look like a regular man. He's an actor. Like daddy, he right. was like, my, my, was like mm, Han Solo is Chewbacca gonna be there? <laughs> right, right. I'm like, well, he's, I don't think he's getting the concept. So we get in the car. I'm gonna meet Han Solo. I'm gonna meet Han Solo. We drive up two hours, get to the Sony gate. The minute we pull in the gate, of the studio. I'm scared of Han Solo. I'm scared of Han Solo. <laughs> oh, no. And did he? Was he scared when he met us? Scared to death. He literally, literally ate through his hat. 
Oh, the poor baby. Little teeth marks and the little hat. Did he talk to Harrison Ford was so great. He said, he's, hey, kid, if you're nervous meeting me, be lucky you're not meeting the princess. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd your son say? He, j he really didn't, didn't say anything <laughs> to him. He was just, just too taken aback. But now when I see Harrison on a commercial or something or a picture in a magazine, I go, hey, Matthew, who's that? Is that your buddy? Is that your buddy? And he goes, <laughs> Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, he gets it now. Yeah, he Don't gets go it. anywhere. Back with Rob Lowe after this. With Rob Lowe, who grew up in Ohio. Yeah. Ohio. And how'd you get into acting? Did you do plays there and everything? My, um, I, I went and saw uh, a children's production of Oliver. And, you know, there were like eight year old kids on stage. And I, you know, was the same age. And I thought, gosh, that looks like, like fun. So I, ch I signed up for um, a children's theater workshop. And my first play was The Wizard of Oz. And who'd you play? I played the mayor. Of no, Munchkin yeah, City? Yes, yes. In the county of the Land of Oz? As mayor of the Munchkin City in the county of the Land of Oz, I welcome you most regally, but we've got to verify it legally to see, to see. If, she if she is morally, <laughs> ethically, spiritually, physically, positively, absolutely, undeniably, and reliably dead. Hey! <laughs> <That's the word. laughs> I didn't know all those descriptive, what are they, adverbs or adjectives? I don't even know that. I, know. I just know that my, my wife is sitting at home going, oh, I begged him not to do that. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know, she's, you know, wives are funny. It's like, I'm an actor. I've got to entertain. Sure. She's like, no, no, honey, don't. It's embarrassing. Don't let me do No kidding. Yeah. She would hate me. <laughs> I'll be in public, I'll break out in song in the middle of Toys R Us. The world's biggest Toys R Us, Toys R Us! <laughs> shut up! Luckily, I, you know, nobody tells me to shut up, but I never listen anyway. Right, right. Now, you are hosting Saturday Night Live for yeah. return engagement this yes. Saturday. Congratulations. Thank you, thanks. It's a lot of fun. Did you have a good time the first time? I had the best time. It was, it was honestly the most creatively fulfilling thing in, of, of my career. I love the show. We had a really good show. Yeah, funny character. Arsenio Beckman? Yes, Arsenio Beckman. I still have people stop me on the street and ask me about Arsenio Beckman. <laughs> Very funny. I hope you get to do a cheer with the cheerleaders. Yes. We've got some really good surprises. Spice Girls are on. Oh, well, no kidding. Yeah, they're my, my music. If you want to be my lover, you got to be my friend. There you go. I know, get it, girl. Get it, girl. I'll just pull my shoulder out, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Well, have a great time. Thanks, thanks. It's a, it's a wonderful cast. They're so funny. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good show. We've got some really big surprises, too, I'm oh, sure. Oh, Ronnie, well, say hi to your children for me. I will. And it's lovely to meet you. It's good to Rob meet you. Rob Lowe, we'll be right back with Andy. Okay.